Um, Graham, what did you learn about Barnett from the first game? Um, I suppose we knew, we had watched them, we seen them play, we knew they would uh, knew they would be good with the ball, we knew their movement, they've got some good players, they've got some dangerous players as we've all seen. Um, to a degree, what did we learn? Nothing that we didn't already know. And they're flying high in, uh, in, in, in the National League, so uh, we knew they were going to come with confidence, we knew they were going to be buoyant, and uh, they were good, and, and we knew that. So, nothing really, nothing really. There wasn't an awful lot we knew, uh, or, or we learned from them. We, we, we'd, uh, we had them watched, so it was, it was a real tough encounter. Two really good teams. We were obviously, we showed signs of, of fatigue. It was probably a good time to get us, actually. Um, I think uh, Dean, Dean mentioned that in his press conference. Good time to play uh, Newport on the back of the week we've had. We went head to head with Stockport and then obviously we travelled up and, and down to Morecambe on the Tuesday night. So, yeah, it might have been a good time to get us. Um, I, I think he was a fair comment. I think he was correct in what he, what he said there. I do think we'll be fresher on, uh, on Tuesday night. I do think we'll have one or two more options. So, uh, again, it'll be a really, uh, a really good, close, tight encounter. Mm. And. I mean, the pitch there used to be terrible, didn't it? A uh, big slope, but it's all different now. And they are a sort of up-and-coming club again. Yeah, that's good. That's that, that's good to see because they were always a, a tough club and they had um, their previous ground was a really good pitch. Yeah, despite that slope, they've now moved to the new ground, the Hoyev, which, uh, which again, as you say, the facility has, has come on, the pitch has come on, their playing style has come on, the players have come on, and they've got a really good manager. So, yeah, they will be in a positive mindset, a positive frame of mind. But Barnet was always, always a tough place to go. Barnet was always a really good team to play against, and they had produced a lot of good players, have produced a lot of good players over the years. So, uh, yeah, look, it's, it's going to be tough. We're under no illusions. We, we, we know there's very little between the two teams, the two clubs, very, very little. A couple of places in the league. Um, but other than that, there's, as you've seen last Saturday, it's, it's, it's two evenly matched teams. And you conceded late, but you've scored late this season as well. There's no real pattern to that, is there? No, not at all. No, look, at, at the end of the day, I suppose people will concentrate on the, on the late, the late equaliser. Um, in that period of play, I thought, um, I thought they deserved it because they had a lot of the ball. They had pinned us back. Um, we then sought uh, a bastion. We sat at the 18-yard line. We, 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 we sank a little bit, which, which is my uh, big frustration of mine when I see teams do that, sitting and sinking. But um, look, we've had uh, 16 corners. They, well, they had 16 corners, we've, so we've defended 15 of them. And uh, they had what ten, eight, ten long throws. So we defended all them as well. So we've uh, we've had to defend an onslaught, and we did. But it was just that one moment, and that happens in football. Um, that, that that's that's part and parcel of football. And like you always say, the time and a goal. Sometimes it's 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 a sucker punch. Such late on, you feel that it's 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 uh, it's if you take it as a defeat. If you if you if you concede early and you lose the game, you don't tend to, to uh, or you draw the game, you don't tend to. Uh, it's the timing of the goals, really. Uh, yeah, it was a sucker punch. The late goal was a sucker punch. Yeah, we wanted to hang on and, and complete a, a really good week, three wins in a week. We didn't. We got two wins and a draw. But if somebody had said that to me uh, the, the two weeks ago, two wins and a draw in a week, I would have taken the hand off all day long. Um, and like I said earlier on, um, where we were probably patching things up over the last month or two. Um, I think we're getting stronger, we're building, we're growing, we're getting stronger and uh, we're getting bodies back, we're getting players back. Um, so it's, it's ten, 10 days, 12 days on since we've played them. So um, it will be, uh, it will, again, it won't be, won't be too dissimilar to the game that we've, we've, uh, we've had at Rodney Bread. So uh, we will obviously be fresher. Um, so it'll be, a, it'll be a tough challenge, a real tough challenge. Um, in, in, terms of, in terms of their approach, they... they, they the idea of a sort of non uh, national league sort of side being really physical, they they did have that aspect, but they do did have proper lively players as well, didn't they? Oh yeah, they had a, they had a lovely blend, a lovely mix. They had a lovely blend, a lovely mix. They're good with the ball, and uh, they, they they put you under pressure. They they launch balls into your box uh, through set pieces, corners, throw-ins. So there's a good blend, and they ask questions of you, which which is natural. 
Uh, we stood up to most of them questions. Late on, we we, uh, we we let ourselves down a little bit. But did we let ourselves down or do you give credit to Barney? It was one moment, one incident. Uh, both managers would have come away from the game, I'm guessing. I don't know, but I'm guessing uh, the, the, the Barnet manager then would have, would have been thinking about territory. God, we were really good. But I came away thinking the chances. Um, Iron so the irony, the goalkeeper to first save of the game after 20 seconds, 25 seconds, he pulled off a worldly shot. I don't know how he kept it out of his net, but should he have been sent off a week a week previous to that against Oldham? So look at that's 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 the beauty of of, of football. Um, he, he didn't, and he's in net, and he's he's pulled off a wonder save. We've gone one on one, we've hit the bar, and so we've probably had the better chances where they had probably more control of the football. So it was uh, two contrasting, uh, two contrasting styles uh, going head to head. If we have those chances again on Tuesday evening, I'd be more than happy. Um, and like I say, I'm not. They, them having the football is the way they play. So um, it won't be something we get screwed up about. But if we can go out and create the same amount of chances and the same quality of chance, um, we'll, we'll be more than happy on Tuesday night. Does TV make a difference? Um, Put it live on live on ITV. It adds a little bit of um, excitement for the players, yeah. or is it more it's more fans and that side of things? Uh, yeah. It'll give our it'll give our fans a chance to see those who who can't travel on a Tuesday night to London. They'll give them a, a, a chance to, to watch the game. It's great that you get um, national exposure and um, all the work that goes on behind the scenes at the football club, and that's brilliant. It's always nice to be on television. Yeah, I'd, I'd agree with that. But the